Hey everybody, welcome back to another invisible edition of A Week in Geekdom. That's right, today we're doing another haul video for the month of March. An interesting month, nonetheless, and I got a ton of books to show you from anime, comics, manga, video games, and even toys, all that fun stuff. Let's get started, right? So we're gonna begin with a manga, and I'm going to go by publisher this time around, and I'm gonna show you the first one right here, and that is Gantz Omnibus Volume 3. Now, you're probably wondering, where's Volume 2? Because last haul video, I showed you Volume 1. Well, Volume 2's out of stock pretty much everywhere, so I have it on back order. I made a an out of print, or an out of stock, I should say, uh, order of books that should ship out eventually, and it will include other volumes of other series that aren't highlighted in this haul video, but nonetheless, here is Gantz Omnibus Volume 3. Really excited about it. And yes, 4 and 5, I believe, are on the way with Volume 6 uh, solicited for May, so I will be caught up, quote unquote. Next up, we've got this little gem right here that I cannot believe I slept on for so long. It is Satoshi Kon's Opus. Now, here's the thing. Satoshi Kon, if you know me, he is one of my all-time favorite directors. Rest in peace, Satoshi Kon. I love his work so much, and I, for some reason, I slept on his manga work. I've never read that stuff. And I saw this recently at a good price, so I jumped on it, and I'm really excited to dive into this, and hopefully you will see a review discussion video on this title. Did I mention we're doing Dark Horse first? I might have forgotten to mention that. Uh, this doesn't fit, right? No, it does not. Here is uh, Hiroaki Samura's Blade of the Immortal Deluxe Edition, Volume 2. This thing's awesome. You've probably seen uh, reviews on it and how awesome it is and how beautiful it looks and all that stuff. That's all true, but yeah, these are great additions and I cannot wait I'm waiting to get Volume 3 to get started on this, so I have a huge chunk of uh, Blade to read. All right, next up we've got Viz Media. You know, uh, we always get some cool Viz titles, and I don't even know if I can fit all of this on my shelves, but I'm going to give it a shot anyways. Um, I, I want to beef up the Asano uh, section of my library, so here is Dead Dead Demons. Dead 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 Destruction. Oh man, is it a lovely looking series. So here is volume one of Dead Dead Demons. I cannot wait to collect the uh, entire series, but I've got volume one here to start with. You'll have to forgive me. I have no idea if I mentioned or highlighted this on the previous haul video. I might have shown volume one, but I do have volume two, Mermaid Saga, and I am working a really cool video on this uh, series from Rumiko Takahashi, so look forward to that. Very interesting series. I really enjoyed uh, reading uh, Mermaid Saga. Next up, one of my favorites, Beastars, Volume 11. And from the same author as Beastars, Paru Itagaki, we've got Beast Complex, Volume 1. Can't wait to dig into this and hopefully make a video on it. It's supposed to be three volumes, so I don't know if I want to wait for a full series review, or just give you my overall impressions on Beast Complex. Another wholesome series for you guys from Rumiko Takahashi, we've got Meizan Ikoku Volume 3. A couple hard covers when it comes to Viz. Um, I only have Volume 1 and 3, do not worry, the rest are on their way, but this is all I got right now. Tayo Matsumoto's Sunny, which I'm really looking forward to reading. So again, look forward to that review pretty freaking soon. Here's Volume 3 on it. I love the construction on these hardcovers, and that textured feel is really awesome. Love you some colored pages, and the art, of course, some Matsumoto goodness. Can't wait to uh, review Sunny for you guys. Next up is a book that, uh, well, first of all, it's from Yen Press, and I don't, I can't show you the contents of it, because it is a very lewd, not safe for work book, but it's one of my favorite comedies, so what the hell. This is Interspecies Reviewer's comic anthology, Darkness. This is basically sort of like a tribute uh, book set within that universe from different uh, creators like uh, the mangaka for Monster Musume, stuff like that. 
uh, uh, doing their contribution and tribute to this uh, wholesome, not safe for work uh, comedy series. Uh, really, guys, I cannot show you what's inside of this. It's uh, very uh, inappropriate compared to the main series, actually. I made a review on volume one of Interspecies Reviewers, and I mentioned like, yeah, you get your TNA and you know, it's mostly like panel shots. There's no actual uh, sexual stuff in the series. There's no way to go about it. So I'm just gonna be straightforward with you guys. But this, it's, uh, it's much more uh, graphic than I was anticipating. I gotta be honest with you. Even I was a little bit surprised by it. From Yen Press, we have my first ever physical manhwa or webtoon based comic on my collection. It is solo leveling. Everybody was talking so uh, many great things about it. I wanted to check it out. This is from Chugong. I hope I said that right. I do apologize if I mispronounced that. And what's funny about this, it's in full color, which is great. It's a manhwa, so you read it like a Western comic. And it's all in color, which is really, really awesome. I have, I have, do I have? I think I have the Webtoon app on my uh, phone and tablet but I rarely use it. Um, so I, I wanted to check that out, but I found it for a good price. Went ahead and grabbed it. I'm gonna do a video on it, I guess, uh, some first impressions on solo leveling real soon, because it's pretty interesting. And this, uh, obviously, it's because of the colored inks and pages, but this is a heavy book for the size of it. I mean, it's like a Viz signature size. This is really heavy, I was quite surprised. Next up from the folks at Kodansha Comics, we've got To Your Eternity, Volume 7. Don't fall on me. <laughs> volume 8. Maybe I can do this. Volume 8. Volume 9. <laughs> volume 10. You guessed it. Volume 11. And yes, Volume 12, essentially ending the first st heavy story arc, if you will. Obviously, I have not read any of these volumes. Uh, just the starting ones. Uh, so if memory serves me right, this ends a pretty major arc. Uh, so I I've stopped collecting there. I know volume 13 is out, but nonetheless, I wanted to stop here at volume 12. So I have a good chunk of material to read and uh, review for the channel. I reviewed volume one, made a, a long time ago, made a first impressions video on it. And I want to continue the storyline to see uh, what I think later on with the series, but I know I'm going to love it. I've read the first uh, three volumes. So I'm looking forward to continuing uh, to your eternity. Next up, I wanna give a massive shout out to a viewer of the channel that wanted to send a book my way. He was not uh, reading it and thought I would dig it and make a video on it and all that fun stuff. So I really do appreciate that. Honestly, that means a whole lot. Um, Chase, my buddy Chase sent me this book right here, Hotel Harbor View from uh, Natsuo Sekikawa and of course the art from the masterful Jiro Taniguchi. This is awesome. I love this so much, thank you. I, I am deeply touched. Uh, this is really cool and cannot wait to dig into this. Let me show you a quick preview here of the art looking pretty freaking phenomenal. This is really dark, grim and noir heavy. Uh, here's another scene right there. This is from the old Viz Spectrum editions. They don't even put these out anymore, if I remember correctly. But yeah, man, this is something else. I can't wait to uh, uh, talk about this book. Oh, he got shot. Spoilers. Okay, let's move on to some anime. Not a whole lot uh, this uh, for this whole video, but some good stuff nonetheless. Here we have Hajime no Ippo, The Fighting. Collection 2 from Discotech Media, collecting episodes 25 to 48. All we're missing is one more Blu-ray volume to complete the first uh, that first series, and maybe they put the OVAs uh, movies in there? I think it would fit. They're not that long. They're like an hour long, so yeah, I think they could do it. Another third collection would wrap up the first part of Hajime no Ippo, so I'm really excited about that. Let me take the slip off so you see the artwork inside. Looking really, really nice. I'm really excited about this. Followed by Inuyasha, Volume 4, 
containing episodes 84 to 111. We need two more to wrap the original Inuyasha series. And I also need to get Final Act. I never got that Blu-ray. But nonetheless, really excited to uh, collect all of Inuyasha, one of my favorite series uh, growing up. Speaking of favorite series, this is probably one of my all-time favorite comedies and isekai and all that fun stuff. It is Konosuba Volume 2, or I should say, the complete second season, plus the OVA episode. All, all we would be missing is the movie on Blu-ray, which will happen eventually. Really excited about that. And here's something really nice. The inside the slip is an image that I know too well. This has been my background on my tablet for two years now. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, love Kodosuba. And last but not least, when it comes to anime, you know I had to do it. It is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind Part 2. This completes the series. This completes everything released for uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, the rebooted, I guess, adaptation from David Production. We don't have a Part 6 anywhere. So yeah, I'm done collecting JoJo's. So that's exciting. <laughs> now, after I'm done watching Golden Wind, I can read part six, part seven, all that fun stuff, part eight. All right, we're not done. We got some extra goodies that I know that you guys like to watch. Um, here are two graphic novels that I grabbed. This is Aquaman volume four, Echoes of a Life Well Lived. This is the final volume from Kelly Sue DeConnick's run um, on the title of Aquaman and it promptly got canceled shortly after. So there's no currently ongoing, aside from the Future State stuff, but there's no ongoing Aquaman book. Nonetheless, really excited to uh, have this in my Aqua shelf. And last but not least, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW Collection, Volume 12 hardcover. Really excited. I'm not up to date with the series, unfortunately, so I, have, I won't be reading this in quite some time, but nonetheless, I... I'm super pumped for this. I love the uh, IDW Collection Turtle books. They're fantastic. And I really need to get on it because the material in here looks pretty freaking awesome. Was this off camera? Probably. I'm sorry. <laughs> but here it is. Yeah, really excited to uh, read this. Next up, some video game action. Uh, I follow a YouTube channel that started out as a vlog. Now it's basically them running a video game store. It is uh, Double Jump Video Games. Uh, I've been following them since 2019. And last year, I believe, when they set up their website, I told myself, man, I gotta show my appreciation because they got me through some tough times since 2019 up until now. And I wanted to buy something uh, from them. And I ended up getting two items that I really wanted. One, I really, really wanted. The, this one was kind of a bonus, but here is uh, Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy for the Switch. Originally, I was gonna grab it for the PlayStation 4, because, you know, it's Crash Bandicoot. But I told myself, you know what? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actively collecting for the Switch. Might as well grab that for the library. And uh, yeah, Crash Insane Trilogy. I'm really excited to play through that. I only ever played the first one back in the PS1 era. And I played one of the racing games for the PlayStation 2. That's about it. So I'm really excited to go through the uh, library of Crash games, if you will. All right, following that, you might remember on the last haul video, I started showing you my growing collection of Metroid video games. That is one of my goals as a video game collector, quote unquote, not really, just a couple handful of franchises. But Metroid is my favorite uh, Nintendo franchise. So here is another one for the collection, Metroid Prime Pinball. This dumb game, and I say that with peace and love, this dumb game, I cannot believe, is getting pricier by the day on freaking eBay of all places, a pinball game, all right? I'm missing the rumble pack, but nonetheless, I got the game, but yeah, really excited about this. Next up, this is this was an adventure. I got this uh, last month, but there was a, a funny little problem with it as, can you see it? Let me focus right there. That is Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance. That was an ordeal. Basically, let's see if I can grab it here. I was sent 
a copy of Metroid Zero Mission. When I popped in the game to my Game Boy Advance, uh, I see a Nickelodeon logo. I'm like, what is happening here? And <laughs> uh, yeah, the Wild Thornberry movie game shows up on the screen. I, my heart sunk. I couldn't believe it. I immediately, I got so mad. I, I uh, messaged the seller. I'm like, I don't know what kind of sick, twisted, funny game this is to you, but I was actually looking forward to owning and playing that uh, Zero Mission game. Seller responds, calling me a liar, starts insulting me. I'm like, dude, I have the video evidence. I can show you that you are selling me a, a uh, the wrong game, the wrong item. You switched the, the labels or something. I don't know what's happening. A couple uh, minutes later, seller uh, sends me an email like, you know what? Yeah, I think I messed up. Um, yeah, my bad. And then he sends me pictures of his Game Boy uh, or his proof or whatever with this, uh, the Wild Thornberry movie game um, in his uh, Game Boy with footage of Zero Mission. So I think I caught a scammer uh, or maybe he was scammed and didn't know it. I want to believe that because I believe in the goodness of people. But uh, essentially, yeah, switched labels. So I argued with him for a little bit and uh, we settled things and he ended up uh, giving me a refund and sending me that uh, copy that you see there. So I switched the labels myself before recording this video. So that is Zero Mission. Now I have a stupid copy of the Wild Thornberry movie that I don't, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just throw it away somewhere in my collection. Uh, but nonetheless, Metroid Prime Pinball and Zero Mission. Now, all I'm missing to complete the Metroid set is the NES game, uh, Metroid 2 on Game Boy, and of course Super Metroid. And I think I'll have everything. Not counting the Hunter's demo, which I don't really care about. I'm not that much of an OCD collector. So yeah, that's it. Um, also, Metroid Fusion and Zero Mission do not have boxes. Those boxes are super expensive. So if you, if you guys know where to get cheap boxes for Game Boy Advance games, uh, let, let me know, because yikes, the price is on those. And speaking of video games, to finish off this uh, haul video, this is a vintage collector's item, I guess, uh, sold exclusively in Japan. Uh, Donkey Kong uh, 64 era toys sold in Japan and the folks over at Double Jump Video Games had a massive lot of them and uh, there were uh, several different uh, figures and you could form the whole minecart thing and that is really out of focus so <laughs> let me uh, sorry about that folks let me show you the uh, figure, which I'm not going to take out of the packaging uh, because I love the packaging on this. And yeah, it, this is really awesome. Donkey Kong is one of my all time favorite games, of course. Um, Donkey Kong Country and 64 and all the other variations, as you can see, it's all written in Japanese and it's like a playset. You build the cart and everything. And I don't know if can you can I zoom in? Cameraman, can you zoom in? Thank you so much. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. So as you can see, those are all the figures and you built the long cart and all that stuff. So I was going to grab them individually. I'm still missing uh, the other ones, but they're a little expensive and this is just fine. Plus, uh, whenever I... How do I even say this? When, whenever I played uh, video games... Um, that's essentially how I saw um, my father and I. Uh, we were a team playing video games and all that stuff, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was uh, pretty quirky and a nice collection. Nice little uh, trinket to have on the, uh, on the collection. So, yeah. 
that's about it. Um, that's the whole video, guys. A lot of cool stuff. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I do content like this, where I talk about anime, comics, manga. Of course, at the end of every month, I like to do a whole video with all the nerdy stuff I acquired. If you want me to review a specific product that I mentioned here, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you, everybody. Uh, God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.